So you got all your protective equipment. You've met with your instructors. You've done everything you need to. They send you to your booth. Here we are in a booth. And it's obviously a dirty booth. A couple things we need to talk about right off the bat. The fumes generated from welding processes. The flux on stick electrodes, the flux in the flux core wire, there's a lot of bad things in that stuff, so you have to protect yourself from the fumes. There's a couple different ways we do that. Number one, we have these flexible arms, and we have an incredible fume extraction system in this shop. But if it's not turned on, if it's not positioned correctly, it doesn't work, and you're standing here breathing smoke all day. Don't expose yourself to that, okay? So a couple things. These turn on automatically. These are actuated from a motion detector in your booth. The big switch in the back is always on. So when you come in here, your job is two things. You need to position this thing, number one, over your work. Number two, you can see the flapper in here. Sometimes these flappers are closed. And if they're closed, guess what? It doesn't work very well. So I have a little switch on the bottom side here that I can move this flapper. You need to make sure that your flapper is open. Stick your hand up here. You can feel it sucking. These things really pull the fumes good. Second thing is we want to move this hood about 20 inches away from your weld. Because when you get the hood too close, you can suck your cover gas away from your weld and you get porosity and other problems with your weld. So you can bring this down here to the side. I've seen people do it. The problem is the smoke rises straight up. And what we don't want to do is fill our shop full of smoke. So this thing needs to be over top of your weld as the smoke goes up in and out it goes. So position this self about 20 inches over your weld, 18, 20 inches. Make sure the flapper is on. You can move it off to the side a little bit. Just make sure the thing's working good. Make sure it's sucking the smoke out. Now the other deal with smoke is positioning your body so your head's not in the smoke plume. Okay? You can't stand over top of this thing with your head and have all the smoke go up around your face. Because you'll be breathing this stuff and you don't even know it. So what you need to do is get your body position, which we're going to talk about in the next video, and get your head out of the way a little bit of that smoke. So you're welding over here and that smoke is going around your head, not in your mask. Make sure that you position yourself correctly so your head's not in the smoke. And we also need to make sure that we position our snorkel correctly. If you do those two things, Fumes are no problem in this shop. Your instructors will let you know. So, second thing is how we do house cleaning. These booths get very dirty, right? The shop gets very dirty. It's all of our duties to clean the place, especially your booth. No student wants to walk into a dirty booth that has an unground pole or an unground bench and the floor is all dirty. Also, the machines don't like dirt. They're electrical machines. They have fans in them. They don't like dirt. So when you're done welding, here's the process for cleaning this up. First things first, we're going to clean all this stuff off the table. And there's always weld berries. There's always little prongs on this table after welding. So the first thing you do is we put our earplugs in because safety first. And I'm going to take my grinder and I'm not going to grind the table through because we want to save the table for someone else. But I'm going to knock all this stuff off. So I take my grinder and I'm just going to feel this table with my hand and all these little nubs. And I just want to knock it down enough that there's no little nubs I can rub my hand over it. And that's fine. That's all you need. Come up here where you tacked your pieces on. Knock 
knock any little nubs off that. Just make it nice for the next person that's going to come in your booth. Then we are going to get our grinder out of here. I'm going to take my cables from my weld machine, wrap them up nice and easy. Don't just throw them in the bucket. You know, a lot of times people just take these things and do this. Now that's not any way for to walk into a booth. It only takes a minute. Just wrap these up nice. We're going to do nice big long loops around the machine. And then I'm going to come back here and unplug the machine. And I'm going to pull this machine right out of the booth. I got the machine out of the way. I come in here and sweep the booth out. Take your time, make it nice. Leave it how you would want to have it. We sweep up all this metal and these are recyclable. This happens to be stick welding we're doing. But these are recyclable. So we recycle them. There is a spot for these to go and the trash can is not it. Right over here behind me, we have a scrap bucket and it's the big black dumpster. We take these rods and we simply dump them right in the bucket and we recycle those. Here's the most important thing. Stay out of the fumes. You do not want to breathe those fumes all day. Makes for a very long day. Clean your booth up. Grind your table off. Take the extra effort to leave your booth the way that you found it. And if we all do that, there, there's no problem with cleaning. And people that come in at night, people that come in at day, they always walk into a nice clean booth. It's just a better way to start off your welding day.